Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and I can explain. <laughs> my Panda palette for 2020. I really wanted to do something different and to focus on products that I really need to use up in my collection. So you might be thinking, then why Jeffree Star? Well, part of me was going back and forth because I don't support Jeffree Star or Jeffree Star Cosmetics anymore, but it took me a bit to get there. And I really want to fully explain that before, it'll make sense then why I want to pan this and pan it so publicly. So I really got into Jeffree Star Cosmetics and purchasing the products and the palettes and the lipsticks before I really did a deep dive onto everything that he had done and all the controversy that surrounds him, which I know now it's kind of like, well, how did you not know? Like, but really like, you had to like, look into it to find it because it had been buried a bit now it's like everywhere everyone's made videos everyone's talking about it and i think that's better but he's also the most popular he's ever been and he's like a billionaire so there's ebbs and there's flows so i tried the makeup out and then i found out everything and then the shane documentary came out and essentially like i want to Back then, I wanted to say, oh, I, I saw him, I saw his transformation, I saw he changed, but then shit kept popping up. He still was treating his customers like trash, he was still treating his quote-unquote friends like trash, unless they could make him a lot of money like Shane Dawson, and it didn't seem like he had changed. The documentary, what that Shane documentary did was give everyone kind of a way to excuse his behavior so they could keep buying his makeup. And that's exactly what I was doing. I had already liked the makeup and I didn't want to stop buying it because I liked the quality. But I wasn't also holding other influencers to that same standard. When like Jaclyn Hill, Manny MUA, whenever anyone else like fucked up, like I stopped supporting them, you know? Like, even, like, smaller kind of things that I still, like, it doesn't matter how small it is. If I felt icky and, like, against it, I stopped supporting them. And it was as simple as that. Even though they had their own brands, I had never tried their brands, which made it easier to not use them, right? So, like, Kathleen Lights, she had a scandal where, like, she just... <sighs> I like that everyone's forgotten about this, but she did say the n-word very easily in a video recorded by Jaclyn Hill, and everyone just kind of forgot that happened, and I still got, like, trash for talking about it and saying I didn't support her because of that, and I had people come, okay, so let's just say, so she's Hispanic, I'm Puerto Rican, and I had people in my comments section saying, it's part of her culture, they're allowed to say the n-word, they're Hispanic. I'm like, mm, no, no, I'm Puerto Rican and I've never said it. It's not that hard to not, like, say it, right? So I was holding everyone else to this higher standard um, because I had never tried their products and didn't want to support them anyway. So I've, I've realized this in specifically in relation to Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star, and I was like, I can't. I can't. Like, I need to stop being a hypocrite and actually, like, follow a moral compass. It doesn't matter whose moral compass it is, it's mine. So... I came to that conclusion and I was like, I can't buy anymore. I'm not supporting. I've got a whole video where I talk a little bit more about it, but I think I articulated it better here. But if you want to hear about more specific examples, I'll throw that video up in the cards. So after I stopped supporting Jeffree Star and I came out with that video, I had to make a decision about the products. Was I going to declutter all of them? Was I going to sell them? What am I going to do? I decided since I've already bought them and most of them are like lipsticks, I could, I could sanitize the hands, the eyeshadow palettes. I'm being honest if I really wanted to but I just thought you know I need to like use the products up get them out of my collection like I did with the Kat Von D shade and light contour palette I used that for a year after no longer supporting her as a person or as a brand I used it for the full year got my use out of it chucked it you know I want to do the same thing for my Shane not my Shane but for my Jeffree Star products which brings me to blood sugar blood sugar was the palette that like oh sucked me in it's it's gorgeous. I don't want to recommend it or toot its own horn, but it sucked me in and yeah, I really wanted it. So what I want to do is I want to use this for a full year and then I want to chuck it to get my use out of it. So these are all the shades here. My goal for this 2020 Pan That Palette is A, to talk more about my experience because I feel like you don't 
hear from a lot of influencers influencers I don't yeah I, you don't hear from a lot of youtubers specifically about that kind of hypocrisy that I experienced and that I went through and that I recognized and worked through and I also I also want to stop letting white men get away with so much shit <laughs> that's another thing because it's you know the top youtubers in beauty are like three white men who have had horrible scandals but like everyone lets them get rid of it or like get away with it yeah, I noticed that too. Here is where the intro is beginning. I think this is going to be a bit of a challenge because I don't like pinks and purple, so this middle row is going to be a bit difficult. Um, this bottom row looks gorgeous, but it's going to be very dramatic. And this top row I think is going to be the easiest. I think I'm going to hit pan on all of these first um, because they're neutrals. I can wear them every day. They're work appropriate. So I think this is going to go easy. This is going to be a little bit more difficult, but I think I can do it. This is going to be the really challenging middle row. Since there is so much product, I'm not going to be able to use up the whole thing by the end of the year. So that's why my goal is just to hit pan in every one of these. And throughout the year too, I want to bring in my other Jeffree Star palettes. I don't want to pan. After this year, I'm not going to pan anything else Jeffree Star. Because I'm hoping that by the end of the year, I will have worked through all of my products and made a decision. Either I use them up, I got my use out of them and they can move out. Or I'm ready to declutter them. So that is my headspace for 2020. I want to work through my collection. I really want to focus more on shopping my stash and using up my problematic shit. So of course, like every other year I've done Pan That Palette, I will be doing monthly updates. And in every monthly update, I will just link back to this video and talk more about my thoughts on this. And I'm sure there are going to be some stands who will find this video and these playlists. And I don't want to be mean, but you can kind of fuck off. <laughs> You know, don't go into my comment section and try defending him and blah 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 because I'm just not gonna read it. I'll leave it there because I don't like deleting comments unless they're like disgusting and they actually threaten me. I'll leave them there. I just don't respond to them. If you guys are ready to go on this kind of a very different, a bit controversial journey with me this year, I hope you will and subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. I had to think about that. Like, it's early. <laughs> and I, like, almost said Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but that's not my schedule. It's Sunday, Wednesday, Friday. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on Jeffree Star down below. Let's see if we can keep it civil. <laughs> but those are my thoughts, and I hope you guys will follow along with me on this Pen That Palette journey. Thank you guys for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.